Good morning from north of Payson, Arizona. On the Mogollon Rim still this morning. We'll be heading out here after a little while. Just gonna enjoy the morning here. We'll go for a little hike. And then we have to head down to the valley, down to the Phoenix area, where it's probably 115 degrees. It is currently 63 degrees <laughs> where we're at, so it's perfect. You can see Van go up there hiding in the bushes. Hopefully we don't get uh, crushed to death here. I don't want to touch it. We might. If it starts to come down, duck in between the rocks, look. Duck in between the rocks. Okay. I see a good boy. Where's your good boy? Good boy. We are in Pine, Arizona, having some coffee, some breakfast, checking out some stores. The store here is called hey The Dirty Hippie. How are you guys doing?
So we stopped in Pine, Arizona, had some breakfast uh, at a cool little bakery, deli, coffee house, and stopped at it's a trailhead for section of the Arizona Trail. The Arizona Trail, I didn't know this actually, runs from Utah all the way to Mexico. It's like 809 miles long. And uh, yeah, this is one, one section of it, so we're just checking it out. Um, doing a little out and back and a loop section. So yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Anyway, what is this? I just saw something off the trail that caught my attention. Huh. I don't know somebody was building something out here. Another huge ponderosa. So these ponderosas, they don't have their their lower branches. They do a they self prune, so they lose all their lower branches. And they actually depend on wildfires um, to help like replenish nutrients and seeding and and things like that. I guess really cool. Some elk rubs over there. So this is a section of the Arizona Trail. Quite the journey, 809 miles all the way through Arizona. The southern section has got to be brutal. I guess you could get it done in, I don't know, four months. The Appalachian Trail is what, six or 1200 miles? I think most people get that done in six. It's a long way. Long way. Wonder what's up with that one. Okay, I was wrong. The Arizona Trail is 790 miles. All the way from Utah. Down to Mexico. We just got back to the van. I'm sitting out here picking all these little burrs out of his paws. And also found a few... Uh, foxtail on him and if you don't know foxtail is really dangerous for dogs I wish I would have saved it so I could show you what it looks like but it'll burrow in if it gets into their nose like if they sniff it up it's really bad news it blew away all right come on bear I know you're tired all sorts of these little things Stacy's in a meeting in the van, so we went for a hike, and we're just waiting for her to finish up, and then we are hitting the road. I think we're going through Payson next. You see this right here? This is Foxtail. And these come off. That comes off, and it'll just start burrowing into the skin deeper and deeper, and then you can't get it back out. So if they sniff it, if it goes up their nose, they gotta get surgery, but it'll burrow into their skin. It's bad stuff for dogs. Good morning from the Valley of the Sun. Made it down here yesterday afternoon. 
didn't do any updates or anything like that. I didn't really do any filming yesterday. Once we got here, we met up with family and just kind of spent the day with them and went out to dinner and then just kind of came back and went to bed. So we're going to be leaving this morning, heading up to the north rim of the Grand Canyon, continuing on our way. Kind of screwed up last night. I left the uh, the AC on. We have, I installed a 12 volt AC and I let the AGM batteries get to like 30%. Anybody that knows about batteries knows those AGMs aren't, you really shouldn't let them drop below 50. So I think a lithium swap is getting ready to happen. Not on this trip, right after this trip. So yeah, stay tuned for that. But we're just out here going for a morning walk. Checking out all the, the stuff that Bear does not understand. I had to pull a uh, cactus needle out of his nose yesterday. We will, uh, we will update. He just about got uh, Jack. We call them jumping cactus, but they're, I believe their actual name is Choya. But those things are gnarly and will just attach to you. Right here is a, uh, I think, prickly pear cactus right there. There's a saguaro. Got some big saguaros up here. But yeah, we'll, uh, we're going to continue on this morning once everybody gets up and around. We've got the whole crew now, my wife and son. My wife came down here for work. My son came down here to spend the week with one of his grandpas, so... It was a good excuse for a road trip. I guess a brush fire can turn into a big old fire pretty quick out here. BLM fire. Well, today we landed in Lake Mary, uh, which is northern Arizona. Um, uh, we want to take it a little bit easy on the elevation changes because when me and Henley went to uh, Colorado in January, he got altitude sickness. So, trying to take that precautionary we, granted, we did go from 900 feet in elevation to almost 10,000 feet in elevation in a day. So we're at like 6,800 here, and then tomorrow at North Rim of the Grand Canyon is 8,500. And then I think that's probably going to be about the highest, except for some mountain passes. Um, so yeah, and this is where we're at tonight. Kind of set back here in the pines. It's all sorts of campgrounds up here. A lot of them are already taken. Everybody's leaving down south and trying to get up here and camp for the weekend in the cooler temperatures. We've got the pop top up now because Henley sleeps up there. He's up there getting ready to take a nap. problem with a lot of these sites is the trash so we're gonna clean up some trash and broken bottles like why are there cigarette butts that's 
literally stuff that can go in a fire. He'll dress it and put it in your freaking pocket. Like, what is this? Well, this person was nice enough to put their cigarette butts in a bottle at least, but then they just left their bottle here. Broken glass, cans. Hammocks up. Got stuff on. I'm doing some plant identification. Stone seed. What does he have? Wood. His favorite snack. Drop it. Let's see it. Yep, just wood. So much trash in one, just one campsite area. Look at these bottle caps. Look, right there, that black thing. We saw camp some campsites that were just, it looked like somebody just dumped all their trash out. Just ridiculous. And then there's some campsites out here where people are clearly living out here. I mean, I guess you gotta live somewhere, but keep it clean.
Just got done with the north rim of the Grand Canyon and we took off a Forest Service Road, uh, Forest Road 611, just, just outside Grand Canyon National Park. Um, and then we found another little road. I don't know what it's called, but we followed it. We parked the van and then walked it to see what was ahead of us. Because when roads, when you don't know, goal, get out and look. Uh, always check it before you head down a road you don't know about because you might not be able to turn around. So anyway, let me show you the spot. It's pretty, it's good. So we're parked here. We are literally on the rim of the Grand Canyon. Uh, last part of it, I believe. But yeah, look at this. Out of work. Out of work. Nice and breezy. It's about 77 degrees right now up here. And it's gonna be 40 overnight, so it's gonna be nice. It's a pretty clean campsite. I haven't seen any trash. Good evening from somewhere in Utah. We are at the Pink, no, Coral Pink, Coral Pink Sand Dunes State Park in Utah. We <laughs> we were spending the night at the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Um, we were at 9,000 feet in elevation. We had a site overlooking the east rim of the Grand Canyon. It was beautiful but the elevation got to be too much for my wife. So we headed out and by the time we found lower elevation, we were kind of out of the national forest in that area. So Utah was next on our stop. Yeah. Um, so we went ahead and came up here to the uh, pink coral sand dunes because it's something that she had wanted to see before we head into Zion tomorrow. Um, yeah, everybody's feeling better, so I wasn't feeling super awesome either. Um, out of everybody who's ever had horrible altitude sickness, Henley did not feel a thing. So, anyway, I was going to end this video up there, but here we are in Utah already. Which works because this was going to be our first stop tomorrow. So, we're just taking some time off of our travel. So, it actually kind of worked out. It's kind of loud out here, unfortunately. A lot of side-by-sides and ATVs, as you can, well, that's motorcycles coming in. Uh, I hate campgrounds, FYI. I hate them, they're noisy. Anyway, that's gonna end this video and I will fire up a next video once we're doing uh, Zion and heading through Utah. So if you like this content, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time.